If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. Seven-year-old Wen is vacationing with her fathers, Eric and Andrew, at a remote cabin in rural Pennsylvania. She is approached by a stranger named Leonard, who explains that he needs Wen and her parents' help to save the world. Three other individuals break in with makeshift weapons and tie them up. Struggling to fight them off, Eric sustains a concussion. Leonard and his companions, Sabrina, Adrian, and Redmond, claim that they have no intention of harming the family. However, in the past week, they have been driven by visions to find the family. They foresee an impending apocalypse in which oceans will rise, a pandemic will spread, and the sky will fall. The only way to prevent this is for the family to sacrifice one of their own. If they do not make a choice, they will be the last people standing. When the family refuses, the intruders sacrifice Redmond by fatally striking him with their weapons. Eric sees a figure of light as Redmond dies. On television, news reports show devastating Megasinamus. Andrew believes Redmond is Rory O'Bannon, a man who had been arrested after assaulting Andrew in a bar years prior. He thinks Rory tracked him down for revenge. Leonard, Sabrina, and Adrian grapple with guilt, but reveal that Redmond's death has unleashed the first judgment of humanity. The next day, the intruders sacrifice Adrian. Meanwhile, a deadly variation of the flu virus spreads across the world. Andrew escapes and shoots at Sabrina with his gun until she flees. As Leonard is being held at gunpoint, Sabrina breaks in and is fatally shot by Andrew. Leonard decapitates Sabrina. And afterwards Andrew finds Redmond's wallet and proves to Leonard that he was Rory. Andrew confronts Leonard in the bathroom. But Leonard overtakes him and grabs Andrew's gun. A TV broadcast reveals that hundreds of spontaneous plane crashes have occurred around the world. Realizing their time is nearly over, Leonard informs the family that after his death, they will only have a few minutes to make a decision. He then slits his throat. Upon his death, lightning causes fires and more planes to crash. Eric now believes the events are real, and that the intruders represent the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Not wanting Wen to grow up in a destroyed world, he offers himself as the sacrifice and envisions an older Andrew and an adult Wen thriving in the future. He feels that their family was chosen to make the sacrifice because their love is so pure. Andrew reluctantly shoots and kills Eric. Andrew and Wen find the visitor's truck with belongings that corroborate their stories. They drive to a crowded diner, where they watch news reports confirming that the disasters have subsided. The radio plays Boogie Shoes by KC and the Sunshine Band. Coincidentally the song that Eric had played for them before. The duo drives off.